Welcome to Bluebird Adventures, where we explore, discover, and repeat the great outdoors. On this episode here, I want to talk about the ZAMP solar system that we picked up the day we got the Opus. So, let's open it up and see what's inside. My first thoughts are I like this case. It's like a hard canvas, if you will. Double zipper. Keeps it safe. Now, pull it out of the way. Inside is fairly padded, too. I like that. Oh. That off the side. Now, open it up. First thing you'll see is a solar panel with a nice aluminum frame, good solid carrying handle, and then there's a latch that you flip up, twist and pull, and then this will open. And inside there are parts, so careful when you open it up. You open it up, stuff falls out. First thing you'll see is you've got directions on how to hook it up with different kinds of batteries. If you've got a six volt system or multiple batteries wired in parallel or a series parallel. And then different ways to connect it. But right now, I'm just gonna set that aside. The alligator clips will allow you to connect it to any 12 volt battery, whether your truck died in camp because you left the lights on, or maybe you're a truck camper and you use this to charge your battery that you run an inverter off of, like say, your electric fridge because you're not an Opus owner. So this, this is a great panel for multiple uses. But in this case, I'm not gonna be using this. Now, it does have a fuse, case of a short. So 15 amp fuse, if you buy this, it's a good idea to buy a couple extra 15 amp fuses. Um, this connection here is a pretty standard style connection you'd see for a lot of chargers. Um, but in this case, it's also the same plug you'd have on the back of the Opus, so it's plug and play with the Opus trailer. Next, you have your display. From there, oops, we can scroll through and see what we're charging at and our battery state of charge. So we'll go through that in just a moment. But also, you have these fold-out stands so that you can lay it, oops, so you can lay it down and have it elevated off the ground. Having it elevated off the ground is great because you, you, for one, you want it facing almost perpendicular to the sun, but also if you were to lay this flat on the ground, it can get hot. When these get hot, they're not as efficient. So having it on the stands and elevated like this, air can get through here and keep this system cool because that's what you want is keep the cooler it is, the more heat or the more, not heat, the more energy you're going to generate. For this. Just with laying it on the ground and heat being an issue, if you're going to permanently mount these on something like your truck or your camper or your Opus, do consider finding a way for air to get underneath it. If you directly bolt these in with just like flush on the surface of your vehicle or your trailer, no air is going to get in here. This is going to get hot and not be as efficient. Furthermore, you won't be able to see your system status uh, display here, which is pretty handy. We'll go through that in just a moment. So anyway, again, let it breathe so that it can stay cool. It'll be a lot more efficient. Well, let's go stick it out in the sun and let's see what we can do with it. Now, when placing your panel, you wanna to try to expose it to 100% direct sunlight. Things like this, like this twig and this grass, they're creating shadows on the panel, which can dramatically affect the amount of power coming out. You might not think that's much shadow, but what'll happen is uh, you'll, instead of gathering energy from here, you'll dissipate heat. So this panel will get hot and actually literally dissipate heat instead of electricity. So if you can, spend just a moment, move it out of the way and get direct 100% sunlight as much as possible and you'll get a lot more energy and a lot more efficiency. On the back here, now we can go through the different displays, go through the different battery types, but for the most part it will automatically select. But it'll work with lead acid, AMG, uh, lithium, and just your basic car batteries. With this top button here, amp slash volt. Right now I'm putting out 6.3 amps into the Opus, but see by putting my hand in front of it, look, I went down to four, and that's just my hand. Now, let's talk a little bit more about solar shading now that we have this display on. So, watch what happens to the amperage when I move my hand across one of the cells. Watch what happens if I cover up two of the cells. So, we're charging at 6.4 amps right now. If I put one hand over one cell, I went down to 4.3 amps. Now let's go slightly smaller and let's just do a finger. I lost two tenths of an amp. 
Now, what if I take some leaves and cover up the panel? Look, I dropped almost a full amp just by that small amount of shading. This just gives you an idea of how important it is to keep your solar panel cool or cool and also in direct sunlight. Because look at that. 6.5 amps, 4.1 amps. That's over a two amp difference from just this set of leaves. Next is gonna be keeping it clean. If you follow this channel for a while, those of you that have will know that I always carry microfiber towels and some kind of glass cleaner. I don't like using the windshield wiper sprayers on the dust because it scars the, wind the windows, uh, windshield included. So I've always got something. So it's a very mild cleaner. It's a detailing product you can use on glass, you can use it on paint. Um, I'll put a link in the description down below because it's got some wax properties. So hypothetically, if it rains, water just beads off real quickly. And it works great for your windshield. Also, it makes it easier to clean your windshield if you do hit the, the sprayers or if you're driving through rain, it's almost like Rain-X. So this is really good stuff. I'll link it to the, in the description down below. And again, super simple plug and play. Um, the amount of, this says it'll do up to 10 amps. The most I've been able to produce was 7.6 amps, but that'll depend on how much or how depleted your battery is, what kind of battery you're using, how, uh, how much sun is, uh, or how perpendicular you are to the sun and how uh, direct your sun is. I was at the beach a couple days ago where it was foggy and intermittently cloudy, so I wasn't able to charge as much. So the weather conditions are gonna have a lot to do with that also. Um, again, a super simple setup. I love this, puts out a fair amount of power, tucks up real nice um, and very versatile because I can use it to power the Opus, but I can also use it to power the truck, hypothetically, if I leave the lights on. So um, again, all food for thought. I'd love to hear your comments down in YouTube. Please comment down below. When you comment uh, on YouTube, it shows engagement with the viewers, which makes YouTube bring it up in search standings and makes this video more likely to be found by other people to see it. If you think I might've missed something in this video, please toss in the comments, let's share and work together to further our knowledge. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you like this channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, because we're constantly bringing you new videos and live streams. Um, if you'd like to join on the live stream, shoot us an email or a comment down below. If you've got some cool story or something you'd like to share, just come on the show and join us. So uh, without further ado, I hope I see you out on the trail. If our trail paths do cross, please stop me and say hello. I tend to stand out. Until then, cheers. See you in the next one. How's it going?